<laughs> oh, whoa. Well, hey there. It is 12.08. So, we have agreed that at around 10 o'clock, we are going to leave. And then we are going to prepare to meet Barakai and Shayla. So, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, at the start, we were watching this one building getting demolished by some crazy, crazy machines. And then, second of all, I was talking about having a tennis lesson. And, <laughs> yeah, excuse me by my voice. The kids, I was being a bit silly yesterday going without a jacket. I mean, because it was very warm. It was almost like before summer, according to the temperature outside. And I slightly got the seasonal flu from what I did. <laughs> and you are not gonna believe this. My step count yesterday was 14,320. That is the highest I've done since November 18th. On November 18th, I had took 14,634 steps. <laughs> yeah, I know some might be stunned to understand this. The fact that it was a pretty cloudy day and <laughs> the lame businesses start all over again. Now right, we're gonna visit the World Traveler group pretty soon. Oh my God. Let's see how they're gonna like this. I'm pretty sure they have already seen and another one of those lazy smoky days and yeah in about 10 minutes we are gonna head out it is 9 50 a.m <laughs> all right that's just a news article yeah i thought i got a notification from google regarding my rush or t's t-shirts i'm like what even is this ice tea doing there i realized that i had left it out there throughout the whole night last night from around 5 p.m. in the evening yesterday. It was insane. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you get into a situation that you just feel like you're kidding yourself too much. But we are going to take Smokey back to his old house. And I have a lot of certainties that he doesn't even remember. On October 18th, last year we got... Smokey, the first day, and before we got him, he really did not know. When we put him in the bag, when we took him, when we were driving him to here, oh my god, he was crying, he was constantly meowing, shrieking like a rat, he was crying, and the first two days of here, it was just a complete mess, and so today, we're taking him back to his old house. We're taking him back to Paulo. We're taking him back to Catty. And let's see if Cat's gonna remember. Like I spoke about at the end of yesterday's video. Oh yeah, there's this one cat. Yellow. He just moved away now though. He's pretty friendly with this guy right here. Well, we're about to leave soon. <laughs> I bet you don't even remember Polo. But you guys are gonna play with each other. Come on, get up. <laughs> yeah, you know me, you know him. Typical smoky. Okay, not that many cars here this time. Got the BMW X1 and the i3 car included right next to us. That's triple BMW, how fantastic. Get inside there.
Guess what we have? Oh, oh, wow. oh my god. Look at that. Yo. Oh. Breakfast is almost ready. And oh my god, again, again, this room has changed. The last time I got here, on the same day that we got Smokey, there was still a television, but there was a lot of cat litter and there was a sofa right here. In fact, on the other side too. That's how I remember it being. And the time before that I came here, there were two bowls and a basket and there was another cupboard on the other side. So much different. <laughs> wow. That makes me predict that next time I come here, it's going to be different again. But it looks like breakfast is ready. Oh my God. Catty. On the day that we got Smokey, Catty, Catty was like running and running after us. And now that we brought Smokey back here for a few hours and Catty is even here. We didn't even close Catty. She's actually out and she's like, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, after so long. Well, anyways, it is time for breakfast and time to watch those two guys. Back, yes. back, <laughs> back. Oh, at that minute were getting really really intense with each other at this point and Paul's like mm. and Smokey got up to him in the same way with the same look in his eyes I don't know about Catty but they put her in the other room because what could Catty even do could Catty get even stronger on Smokey because she forgot Smokey, or Smokey could just get too strong on Catty. And it is still so windy. For now, it doesn't show itself, but sometimes it just blows like the strength of Hulk. Since last night, yeah, last night I, I spent some of last night fighting the flu, but it wasn't too bad. Like some other times I had to spend the whole night fighting the flu. Wow, that was terrible. But last night wasn't bad. And due to the speed of the wind and also the power of the gusts, they had to limit the space that Smokey and Polo would hang out with each other, flirt with each other. But when we were leaving, Smokey was under some kind of shame because, you know, there's this yellow cat right next to our apartment and Smokey is friends with him. He comes up to our balcony and he meets up with him and that just brings Smokey into really positive pressure. Sorry, pleasure. <laughs> Why pressure? <laughs> oh, whoa.
finally I got home and to do my exercise. Actually, I had a pretty good time there, to be honest. It was wonderful. Me and Bad kind of walked around the town. Paul didn't really play too much with Smokey. He didn't want to. Maybe he's in the mood that he already has grown out of the age to just play around with others. Like even Eshef and Lily, both those still play with Smokey as well. That yellow cat at the balcony next door, next to where we sit. It was a good time there, but the disadvantage is that the number of people in the traffic just sitting on their ass doing nothing is continuing to rise. And today it was shockingly bad. Those idiots out there. Oh my God. Like even after my car accident, like five weeks after my car accident, my opinion on those drivers who just lay their ass on that road hasn't changed. And I would still call them laying on their ass. But anyways, I'm not gonna deal a lot with that for now. At least that's done. It is exercise time. That was just an exercise. I was like a polo cat at this point. This cat, he was sitting up on that top. And then as soon as I came into that garage to look for a scooter, oh, he ran away just running like a polo cat. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't even need a scooter. But while me and Bakai were having a walk around the town, while the ladies were watching Smokey and Polo play, we were looking at the scooters that... I think around 15 and 28 year old would ride the most, those green ones. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> those scooters went to, together, huh? It's funny. Yes, that was a good walk. Hey, Polo Cat, what up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's yellow. First of all, in fact, Polo's color is pretty close to Lily and Polo's tail from what I can look, looks a lot closer to Eshef's tail, but the skin of it looks closer to Lily, yeah. All right, so when I get back home, I, it's another day of having to get on this freaking document. And it has got so dark already, so that means it is tea time. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, I hurt myself and I, it's just like sometimes I feel like it's a huge glitch. So let's do it. Oh, what a blob. Just like the blob run. <laughs> I almost burned my hand and I just blobbed it in like this. It is 7.30 p.m. and my phone's battery is getting low. But to wrap up today, it was still nice. I'm glad to have done that exercise after we got back from Bakai and Shayla's house. Except the fact that Smokey and Polo didn't have a good relationship. It was not the best day for Smokey. I don't know why they had to close Catty. Catty is not a social cat. Smokey has the best relationship though with Lily. But 
when we got there today with Polo, yes, excuse me, my phone's battery is now low. It's a 10%, gave me an alert. So when we got there and when Smokey got with Polo, Polo did not show the best. In fact, he was standing like Smokey is an enemy to him. And that was not really the best day. So next time we go over there to Bakai and Shadows, we are going to leave Smokey here. So uh, we'll just watch how Polo does. Yeah, that was just so sudden. Before we left there, he was very angry. He was so angry that like, when we put him in the bag, he just fidgeted his head around. He was like, Arr! and he chilled right when we got in the car. And he was happy that way he left. He was so happy. It was just not really good relationship between, I mean, only the relationship between Sonky and Polo. Other than that, it was great. Me and Barakai had to walk around the town. That was so nice. We had a chance to go to Starbucks. Other than that, I helped myself even approach to 10,000 mark faster. And now it's at like 9,600. So definitely after this, the second consecutive day, I'll make this the 10,000 step mark. And yes, tomorrow, hmm. we might actually see some rain at starters. And then Thursday, me and my dad are likely to have another drive. And then on Friday, it begins. On Friday, we will get into another age of... I mean, yeah, I don't really like cold weather, but it's gonna snow. So I'm actually kind of excited to see the cold come in. If it was seven days of crap and rainy weather, cold rain and fast moving clouds, that kind of drizzle rain weather, I don't like that one. But a snow blizzard or heavy snowstorm, that's something I enjoy a lot more. On January 17th in the vlog, I was throwing some snowballs onto other people's windows just for fun, just to make you guys laugh, just for comedy. And maybe over this weekend, I am planning to do something a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, insane. Two weeks ago, I was very hopeful that this weekend I was gonna be able to do neighborhood exercise on both days, but no, the snowy weather just took it away. So the chances of my neighborhood exercise have been ruined, officially ruined, but that's okay, I'm not upset. I like snow. So today, sorry. Yeah, today I have continued a bit more on that document work and I'll get on that so i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog have a nice day